Kitty writes, help, I find functions so confusing. Do you have any visuals that can help me remember what functions are and how to use or describe them? <laughs> actually, you're in good company. Um, finding functions confusing is very common. Um, and it's actually uh, kind of unfortunate because functions are something that you've worked with since you very first began algebra. And most of the time, you just didn't know it. Really, any time you were given an equation with something that you did to x to either get an answer from it or to give you a value for y, you've worked with a function. So for instance, if we had a statement like 3x plus 2 equals y, that's a function. A function is a process. It's a recipe. It's, um, it's like a, a program that uh, works on anything you put inside of a box. Here, our recipe involves x. It lets us know how to get a y. If we want to get a y, we have to take an x, multiply it by 3, and add 2 to it. No matter what this x is, no matter what we decide to put in this place right here, if we want to know what y is, what our, what our output would be based on that input, we have to perform this process on it. We have to run it through this recipe, or we have to, um, we have to use the x machine. The x machine takes a number, multiplies it by 3, and adds 2. And once it's done that, the number that it sort of spits out is, a y, is what we call y. So let's try a couple of things here. Let's say, what happens if we plug in a 2? We use our little x machine. We put a 2 in for x. So then instead of x here, we have 2. So when we, take our, when we use our machine on x, we get just y out. Well, if we use our machine on 2, we're going to get 3 times 2 plus 2. Well, that equals 6 plus 2, or 8. So if we use our machine, our little, our little x machine, with x as the input, we get y. If we use our machine as 2 as the input, we get 8. If we use our machine and use 3 as the input, then we'd get 3 times 3 plus 2. Well, that's 9 plus 2. That's 11. So with this machine, the, the 3x plus 2 machine, or the 3x plus 2 recipe, the output is going to be dependent on what we put in for x. Um, let's see if we can take a look at the, the analogy of a box. Um, let's use a box here. We're going to call this box our function. Yeah, and in this function, anything we put in here gets multiplied by 2, and then we um, say times 2, multiply by 2, and then we add 3. So if we put in a 3, we go into the box as a 3, it gets multiplied by 2, and then we add 3 to it, so then it comes out as a 9. This function is the times 2 plus 3 function. Any number that we put in gets multiplied by 2, and 3 is added to it. If we um, choose a different color here so we can keep straight what we're doing. So let's say we put a, a 4 into our machine. Well, if we put a 4 into our machine, our 4 gets multiplied by 2, that's 8, and 3 is added to it, so it comes out as an 11. So you can see that whatever we put into this box, the same thing is done to it, but since we put different things in, we get different things out. This function would look like this in algebra notation. We would say 2 times x plus 3 equals y. Take the number you put in, multiply it by 2, and add 3, and that's the same thing as the number you're going to get out. So 3 times 2 plus 3 is the same thing as 9. 4 times 2 plus 3 is the same thing as 11. So functions really aren't anything to be sort of freaked out about, although I, I understand they start to look a little funny a little later. We use weird notation for them, and they seem like a strange, a strange term. But really, it's the same thing you've been doing all along. It's just sort of looking at your equations from a different standpoint, instead of just thinking of them as these holes that we're putting numbers into. Think of it as a process. Think of it as, as, a, as a recipe where we're sort of putting the, the pieces into to get an output. Or think of it as a, a black box, um, like a function machine. Whatever you do to a number, you go through all the steps that you're given for that number, and the output we call something else. We call it y, we call it z, we call it, a little bit later, you'll start calling it f of x. But don't, don't be freaked out about it. That f of x just means it's the output of x. It's the output of this function right here.